Girl with a Pearl Earring is a 2003 drama film directed by Peter Weber from a screenplay by Olivia Heatreed, based on the 1999 novel of the same name by Tracy Chevalier. Scarlett Johansson stars as Griot, a young 17th-century servant in the household of the Dutch painter Johannes Vermeer at the time he painted Girl with a Pearl Earring in the city of Delft in Holland. Other cast members include Tom Wilkinson, Killian Murphy, Essie Davis, and Judy Parfit. He treat read the novel before its publication, and her husband's production company convinced Chevalier to sell the film rights. Initially, the production was to feature Kate Hudson as Griot with Mike Newell directing. Hudson withdrew shortly before filming began, however, and the film was placed in hiatus until the hire of Weber who reinitiated the casting process. In his feature film debut, Weber sought to avoid employing traditional characteristics of the period film drama. In a 2003 interview with IGN, he said, What I was scared of is ending up with something that was like masterpiece theater, very polite Sunday evening BBC kind of thing, and I determined to make something quite different from that. Cinematographer Eduardo Serra used distinctive lighting and color schemes similar to Vermeer's paintings. Released on December 12, 2003 in North America and on January 16, 2004 in the United Kingdom, Girl with a Pearl Earring earned a worldwide gross of $31.4 million. It garnered a mostly positive critical reception with critics generally applauding the film's visuals, musical score, and performances while questioning elements of its story. The film was subsequently nominated for 10 British Academy Film Awards, three Academy Awards, and two Golden Globe Awards. Plot In 1918 during the influenza pandemic, Pearl is a young woman living with her German immigrant parents on their Texas homestead while her husband, Howard, is serving in World War I. Pearl's father is infirm and paralyzed, and her domineering mother, Ruth, insists that she help care for both him and the farm. Pearl, longing for a more exciting life, is captivated by the films she sees at the local cinema and aspires to become a chorus girl, much to Ruth's disapproval. However, Pearl also shows signs of being a disturbed individual such as killing farm animals and physically abusing her father, knowing he cannot defend himself. At the movie theater, Pearl meets a young projectionist who takes a liking to her. While riding her bicycle home, Pearl stops along a cornfield and begins dancing with a scarecrow, fantasizing about the projectionist, and masturbates with it. When her mother counts that eight cents are missing from an errand Pearl did, she is berated about being careless and has her supper withheld. Pearl's affluent sister-in-law, Mitzi, tells her of an audition being held to acquire new dancers for a traveling troupe, which Pearl envisions as a way out of her circumstance. She later sneaks out of the house at night and visits the projectionist, who shows her a free ride, an illicit stag film he acquired in Europe. He encourages Pearl to pursue her dreams. Pearl comments that she cannot abandon her family, and that she wishes they would just die. When Ruth finds a program Pearl took from the movie theater, the two get into a fierce argument over dinner. A physical altercation erupts, during which Pearl shoves her mother against the kitchen hearth, igniting her dress and resulting in Ruth suffering life-threatening burns. Pearl drags Ruth into the basement and leaves her father seated in the kitchen. She flees to the movie theater, where she has sex with the projectionist. In the morning, the projectionist drives Pearl back to the farm so she can prepare for the audition. He is perturbed by a now maggot-infested roasted pig Mitzi's mother left for Ruth the day prior, and by inconsistencies Pearl has told him, as well as by her extremely theatrical behavior. When he attempts to leave, Pearl flies into a fit of rage at his abandonment of her and stabs him to death with a pitchfork before pushing his car with his corpse in it into a pond, where an alligator she has nicknamed Theta eats his remains. Pearl dresses herself in one of Ruth's lavish gowns, and dresses up her father before smothering him to death. 
Pearl arrives at the church where the audition is being held. She gives a dance performance she feels will win over the talent scouts, but is profoundly distraught when she is rejected for not being young, blonde, or all-American. Mitzi accompanies her home in an attempt to console her. In the kitchen, Pearl makes a lengthy confession to Mitzi about her resentment toward Howard, who came from a privileged background but insisted that the couple remain on her family's farm, and admits she was relieved when she miscarried his child. She further confesses her feelings of alienation and insecurity, her joy in acts of harm, and to taking the lives of her parents and the projectionist. Pearl then manipulates a stunned Mitzi into confessing that she won the audition over Pearl. Jealous that Mitzi won the audition, Pearl chases her down the driveway and kills her with an axe. Pearl dismembers Mitzi's body and feeds her corpse to Theta, before going into the basement and lying with a deceased Ruth. Having reached the conclusion that her mother was correct and that Pearl should make the best of what she has, she decides to remediate her wrongdoings by creating a comfortable home for Howard when he returns from the war. The next morning, Howard arrives unexpectedly. In the kitchen, he is horrified to find the bodies of Pearl's parents seated at the dining table around the rotting pig. Pearl greets him with a protracted, pained smile, which she holds for most of the credits. Cast Mia Goth as Pearl David Corenswet as the projectionist Tandy Wright as Ruth Matthew Sunderland as Pearl's father Emma Jenkins Perrow as Mitzi Alastair Sewell as Howard Production Development T.I. West began writing a script for the prequel film during production on X. The filmmaker stated that the prequel project had developed from a story he had collaborated on with Mia Goth, and that he had seen it either as becoming a potential film, or simply serving as a backstory for Goth's role as Pearl in the first movie. After the onset of the coronavirus pandemic, seeing its impact on the cinema industry, West stated that he had been inspired to continue working and had decided to begin production of the prequel immediately after wrapping on the previous installment. West stated that he had pitched his idea of a new franchise to A24 and had been surprised when they greenlit his projects. The filmmaker stated that he intends each film to have its own distinct style and genre of horror. Describing his approach to each movie, he stated that X was heavily influenced by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise and by the works of Mario Bava, which explore how the rise of independent filmmaking affected society, while Pearl will be a melodrama meets the Technicolor style of Mary Poppins and The Wizard of Ounce, made as a demented Disney movie and based on the works of Douglas Sirk, and will explore how Hollywood filmmaking has influenced people. West stated that he intends to continue this trend of exploring diverse styles and genres in future installments. The movie is a joint venture production between A24 and Little Lamb Productions. With the release of the first publicity poster, it was announced that West would once again serve as film editor alongside his other production roles, that Elliot Rocket would return as cinematographer, and that Tyler Bates and Tim Williams would serve as CO composers of the film's score. Casting Mia Goth reprises her role as a younger version of Pearl, the elderly woman from the first movie. In July 2022, it was revealed that David Corenswet, Tandy Wright, Matthew Sunderland, and Emma Jenkins Pearl will feature as the supporting cast. Filming Principal photography was revealed to have begun in secret immediately following the completed photography on X filming started in New Zealand and took place back-to-back -back with the first movie. West worked with the production crew of Avatar, The Way of Water, who were taking a break from production on that film at the time. West stated that, despite the production taking place during the COVID-19 pandemic, the production crew had already completed their required period of self-isolation, and were therefore able to work safely and efficiently together during the pandemic. The filmmaker said, I came out of quarantine and I was like, we're already building all of this stuff, it's covered, and we're on the one place on earth where it's safe to make a movie. Post-production 
In March 2022, having completed filming, West announced that he was currently working on editing the movie, that he would go to Nashville, Tennessee, following the March 2022 SXSW Film Festival, to record the orchestral score for the soundtrack with Tyler Bates and Timothy Williams, and that the film was expected to be finished in May. Marketing a teaser trailer was screened at the SXSW Film Festival, following screening of the first film. The footage accompanied the theatrical release of X. In July 2022, the first trailer was released with the marketing tagline of an extraordinary origin story, referring to the previous installment. Release Pearl had its world premiere at the 79th Venice International Film Festival on September 3. 2022, and was released in theaters in the United States on September 16, 2022. The film was released on VOD on October 25, 2022, and is set to be released on Blu ray and DVD on November 15, 2022. Reception Box Office In the United States and Canada, Pearl was released alongside The Woman King and See How They Run and was projected to gross around $4 million from 2,900 theaters in its opening weekend. The film made $1.3 million on its first day and went on to debut to $3.1 million, finishing third at the box office. It made $1.92 million in its second weekend, finishing fifth at the box office. Critical Response On Rotten Tomatoes the film holds an approval rating of 90% based on 140 reviews, with an average rating of 7.7-10. The site's consensus states, Pearl finds T.I. West squeezing fresh gore out of the world he created with X and once again benefiting from a brilliant Mia Goth performance. On Metacritic, the film has a weighted average score of 73 out of 100 based on reviews from 30 critics indicating generally favorable reviews. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of B on an A and to F scale, while those at Post Track gave the film a 75% overall positive score, with 54% saying they would definitely recommend it. Reviewing the film following its Venice Film Festival premiere, Peter Bradshaw of The Guardian praised West's direction and Goth's grandiose performance, assigning it a perfect rating of 5 stars and remarking, perhaps I shouldn't have enjoyed Pearl as much as I did, but it's clever. Limber, gruesome, and brutally well acted. A gem. In his review for The Hollywood Reporter, David Rooney described it as a cleverly packaged pandemic production with narrative echoes of that global anxiety, praising the screenplay, cinematography, score, and Goth's performance which he compares to that of American actress Shelley Duvall. In a negative review, Ewan Gledo of Cult Following wrote that while West doubles down on what made X such a chilling feature and consolidates what he is good at, the film ultimately feels like a weak parody of the MGM days of The Wizard of Ounce. Filmmaker Martin Scorsese was reportedly very impressed by the film calling it mesmerizing and stating that it was powered by a pure, undiluted love for cinema.